victory. If you believe that, put your hands together and praise Him. Come on, for whom the Son is set free. Come on, there's somebody in this place. There was once lost. There was somebody in this house that understands that he's brought you a mighty long way. There's somebody in this place. I got a dear friend right now in need of a miracle. A young man was in a accident just the other day in Lexington. Akir Jackson is a man. But uh, they have him in a uh, drug-induced coma right now. For I would intervene. They're saying that he's responding, but not at the level uh, that is required. But I know a God. I wish we had a full testimony service today to tell you how many times God has blessed people and healed them from cancer in this room and I'm praying that God's hand that he would send an angel right now to the University of Kentucky Hospital begin to move abundantly right there for we know dear God what's impossible for man is nothing but a simple task for you we pray the ghost and and just like with Lazarus we know he's not in that position or condition right now but we command all facilities of his every nerve begin to connect in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus if you believe that with me would you put your hands together amen to the book of Psalms the first division first chapter and while you're doing that and can we give the Lord a hand praise for all our guests in the house yeah. amen I've got one of my cousins in the house and yeah. Sheila yeah. where's that I got a bone to pick with you Tizen. we thank God for amen he is God is just so good to us in Psalms the first division verse 1 it reads as this blessed is the man way of the sinner nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now we're talking about that's what it's blessed is that man. Is in the law of the Lord. And this, and excuse me, and in his law, amen. Facebook can't keep you out of trouble. <laughs> huh? Amen. Netflix won't keep you, but if you meditate on that word, you meditate on what God has, trust me, both day and night, <laughs> you will be blessed. Understand the overflow of blessings. He shall be what planted um, um, like a tree planted by the rivers of water that's going to stop his blessing. Huh? And whatsoever he, he doth shall prime the subject his word only. And if I had a subtitle, it would be no substitutes allowed. It reads, verse uh, 1 and 2 reads like this. Happy are those who don't listen to the wicked who don't go where sinners the world sells us something else he tells us if we do what everybody else is doing suicides happening all the time in wealthy families uh, families those things that we chase after Amen. Everything plays out. When you've got everything and can't nobody give you nothing else, so you just end up being miserable with all your stuff. Still feel empty. Why? Because there will be a void in you without Christ. What God, the latest this and that, but God saying, stop going for the latest and get back with that that was in the beginning and is in the end. If you grab, amen, will supersede those around you. The scripture goes on in verse 2. It says, night, day and night. It is something, uh, and I, I, I'd say thinking about, just because of the age uh, difference. Uh, comes with a, with a little bit ease, but nighttime 
is when things get a little bit raggedy. Uh, today, I may just, just talk like this the rest of the service. We'll see where God goes. But, and the cover of night, that uh, I'm going to say this, and there will be people that won't know what I'm talking about uh, as far as where it comes from. But there was a term, come out at night. I, 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 can I help you with that uh, and give you a, a, just a breakdown that when it seems to go in the nighttime? Why do you want to stay up so late? Because I want to see what's going to happen at those hours and meditate on his word only. It doesn't matter what's going on all around you. My God will not fail me. Hell can be breaking out all around me, but my God will not fail me. Meditation on the word of God for the word. I want to be blessed. Tap your other neighbor and say, I want to be happy. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. When we began to meditate on it, amen, even when you're sick, you can say, let the weak say they're strong. When you feel defeated, you can say, I'm, a, come on, you can say his burden is what? Right. To tell us and make us feel like we're boxed in in a situation that I have a word for the storm. Peace be still. If I met at night time when it's not so good. It's changing. When you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a prognosis of the word of God when everything is going good but also the more when things are beginning to turn and you'll understand what the scripture lets you know that whom the son has set there is a false voice that tries to speak to the people, but the Bible is clear. Uh, his sheep know his voice, and a stranger they will not follow. There is a voice that will tell you and tell you God knows and you're only human. But the word of God said all the way out. How do I know? Because he didn't say that he's going to pour a little Holy Ghost on no substitutes allowed. Devil, you can't tell me the substitute. For you promised me that the promises are for me. His word only. I'm, I'm putting a mute on the enemy. Can I help you with something? Now I'm talking to some of the younger folk. because it's all, all the, And they found a PE teacher who didn't pass math. Uh, uh, familiar with what's going on that he'll give you something that may not be or she may give you something that may not be, because the almost right is still all the way wrong it's not easy like that you don't get a, a social promotion it's about doing the will of God Poor brother and you know and and we don't really want to talk like that anymore and uh, you know we want to tell people in the straight way it will keep me on the highway called holiness it, it, will, it will make new plain the soul that sinneth shall surely die there's still word in here that tells me there is a highway called holiness uh, and you're not going to run into a lot of people there you see I can't keep my eye on him, Brother Matthew, if I'm always looking over here. I stayed on him. If I'm always looking on Google to find out what's wrong with my body. They're telling me, you pray too much. You go to church too much. You live holy too much. Nothing, baby. Come on, I don't have a gimme God. I don't have a, a tri place God. I got a God that's mine for substitutes. <laughs> Whose word? His word. His word. And amen. If we just read his word, voice in the garden, he tried it too. When you listen to the substitute, you will end up desperate and hear it clearly. I want to know his word and his word alone. Amen. Moses told them to paint the doorpost from the 
promised land and they they walked around for a seven day journey took them for what happened when they stopped for a season and they began to melt the gold and and to build the gold it was all the ways there that was trying to steer them in the wrong direction proud there was still substitute look like it had to this church soon as the word bearer went up the hill and began to speak he's been gone too long Surely, and men, help us gather some gold. Help us boil and, and melt and smelt some gold and build me in. Uh, not the real thing, but a substitute. Come on, somebody. And right then, because they had denied the word, the word was listening to the substitute voice rather, rather than listening to the voice of God. Can I say it says you can do it your way. Stop listening to the voice voice of madness. The Bible says except the man be born of water and spirit. He, there's not another way. There's not a back door. There's not a side door. The only way in is <laughs> come on. This is so hard. Is there another? I only know his word. I don't know about anybody. I heard your testimony about your cousin. That could almost be my test, brother. I'm not one of them that was always in church. Matter of fact, I, 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 I'm not that one. But So when he brought me out, here's somebody else. Tell me you can go back just a little bit. Shut up. I'm putting a muzzle on it right now. Huh? Not only would I go back, but I look at the man more than they look at God. And let me be honest with you, your testimony is I'm not against that, but please stop living a double life. Please stop living altar call and then you move on and do go already plotting and planning. When, I, when I'm sad, I don't need to go nowhere else. The joy of the Lord is my, come on, to lift me up. How do I know? I'm not talking what I think. I'm talking save me. And delivered me. Can I hear you? Can I, can I tell you something right now? If he didn't, it would either be in jail or nearer to hell, if not already there. I, I'm not going to listen to another. Joshua says it like this. You hide it in your heart. When, they, when you began to meditate on that word, the only, now let me help you with this, the only would it end here. Yeah. Uh, are you understanding? In the order. Now don't go and try to eat your... I want you to be in that word and let that word consume you. Versus you could give you a no when a no is needed and a yes when yes is needed. It will, it will tell you how to be not who God is. <laughs> don't let it leave you that thou mayest observe to do according to all that from wrong. The meditation is so that I can find the stuff. But those are friends benefits. But it is always can I help you before God? How do I know what he likes if I don't know him? No. I want to observe to do according to all that is written there. There's a scripture that generally slips out of the name it speak life and it can speak death don't get me wrong and I and I believe in but the Bible says hmm, that God desires for us to prosper and be in good can, can, oh you want me to make it easier what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul the other stuff are just add-ons God will bless his people God will heal his people he will give you abundance that's his word but that's not his goal he will that's not really what's important because another scripture says if your eye offends you pluck it out because I want to make it in regardless listen to another no substance what then Thou shalt have, have good success. The issue is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There is no uh, text. It's not what we suppose. Uh, yes, we confess with our mouth. Yes, we believe in our anything about. Why? Because you've got to do that. And then once you confess uh, that you love God, then there is an obligation that wholeheartedly. But I also believe that there ought to be a change in who you are. As a matter of fact, all of them ran and found some water. Amen. And was baptized. 
eyes. Amen. Those that uh, I read in the, in the cause on the first day of Pentecost, when that happened right there, huh, they were filled huh, later on for that. That's what the word says. I'm, I don't need a substitute to that. I don't need you to change that for me. I don't need you to. to uh, we must not might, not should, not could. Be saved but that name of Jesus, that name, that mighty name of God. You have any of it, brother, and I make it to heaven, I've got it all. If I, if I, if I, if I never gain another dollar on this day, it's a number, but eternity goes on forever. If I make it to heaven, it's all right. Now, now watch this. This is just so y'all can get relaxed. Be strong and have not I commanded thee, be strong. Don't be afraid to live saved. Be saved before them. They can act a fool if they want to, that's fine. And, and that might be change, and your difference will make a difference. Hmm? I commanded you to be strong, be mean, but I am saying live right before them so they'll have an example of what God really can do in their life. Talking trash. Don't be afraid to say, I got to go when they call you with a bunch of, huh? Your ear all itchy? You want the latest dirt on somebody? But be strong. Don't think it's over. Don't let the enemy bring depression into your life. I bind that spirit of depression right now in Jesus' name. Ever you go. Isn't that something? How many of us, if, if, we, if he was standing there saying, and it was quoting everything that you were thinking, man, wouldn't that be crazy if your thoughts were just popped up on the screen? I wish he'd hurry up. My greens, are, my boo just called me. Just text me in church. And I, I, he'll make himself apparent to you right there. You don't have to worry about it with you. Meditate on his word. He's with you. Right? Come on. Because that's y'all's cue to get ready to pack your bags and get ready to go. I want to challenge you. Each and every once I want to challenge you. Leave the word of God and not look for a substitute. I'm going to challenge you to be honest within your in this room that are struggling because they've been listening to I didn't say listening, not listening to me. That's not what I said. The word of God. Meditate on the word things. Because the voice has told you. And it's not the voice of God that says, you're not ready to quit. There's some people in here that are struggling in some areas right now. Right? You will never be, there will never be an absence. Right? So we're going to come to the altar in just a second. Right? There's no perfect people in this place. No perfect people in this place. But I'm talking, when I say the honest people, the people, the voice of the enemy. Those are the first people I want to come. So if that's you, make sure one a minute, those that need that. This church is not about numbers. I don't claim to be a good preacher. I just claim to free honesty. All right. Now here's what you're going to do. All right. You're. Because that means you're trying to hide it. Don't worry about the person next to you because if they're listening to you, they got a problem. They're struggling up here while they're praying. See, we got people from all walks of life up here. While they're... Okay. If, you, if you're ready for God to do something miraculous, you need a breakthrough. Maybe your kids are not...